All right, welcome back to video number three. And so uh, again, Bowman Web Services, we're talking about how to rank and dominate your local SEO or local market through SEO and content marketing and how to strategically uh, get more and more and more and how to redesign and rebuild and pimp up each page. And so keep in mind, uh, your website, you know, uh, most people just buy, buy and build a five page website and so that home page can only rank for a half a dozen things, right? But the truth is, you know, when you build internal pages like posts, and those posts are specific to a niche within a niche. So handyman niche, you know, things like gutter cleaning. And so let's go ahead and have a look. In our previous video, we talked about, <clears throat> um, what was it? Uh, flooring. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh my goodness, that was just like 10 minutes ago. Eesh. All right, but in this video here, we're going to talk about gutters. And so uh, we had done some research earlier. And, you know, again, I, I don't see where I'm getting anything, you know, as far as, as gutter cleaning and stuff like that. The keyword data in certain niches is very poor. And so I know it gets search volume because I'm getting hits on it, right? <clears throat> so really, Uber suggests just kind of really didn't do squat for me on this one. Uh, and so, again, you know, we're trying to get our estimate estimated clicks every month to quadruple or more. I want to see that go way up because really by the time it hits a hundred a month for a small company, that'll be enough to to you know more than make me happy, right? Right now I'm just ranking for 96 keyword phrases. That's gonna go through the roof. That's gonna double and triple also because now we're looking at all the different variations of keyword phrases. And so again we're gonna pimp out this page here. This is all about gutter cleaning and Port Orange, Daytona Beach and uh, South Daytona and again Keep in mind, as we're building this, right, this is another inbound link to this page, page specifically, right, from Bowman Web Services, which is also getting rank and everything, right? So just hand in hand. One hand helps the other, right? And so let's just run right on through it. All right. So we said that the number one thing that was bringing traffic right now with this site, then really it's, it's a new site. The content is still not structured right, and I haven't put much time into it. I think I got about 150 hours in now. We'll call it 152 hours in. Woohoo! All right, so uh, you know, as so we go down this list here, the best way to do this now is going to be these are all the keyword phrases and where I am. So let me explain this page again. Okay, this is your where you're showing up on Google, whether you're moving up or down. It'll be red or green. All right, what it's going to cost to buy it if it's even available. <clears throat> what the difficulty of ranking is. Right for that thing, ranking like number one, right? And in a lot of cases, a lot of these are controlled by Home Advisor, Yelp, right? I'm always gonna be like, you know, not just me, but any actual company is gonna be like two, you're gonna be search result two, four, five, six, right? Uh, you're probably not gonna get one or two really. Two's kind of a, a hope and wish. But anyway, so I can come in here and I can actually just modify or, or just uh, search this entire, everything on my site that is ranking by a specific modifier. So I want want to see uh, the word gutter in here. So handyman gutter repair is nice, but again, that's not, that's not, it, there is no keyword phrase like Port Orange, Daytona Beach, right? It is, you know, it did pick up that page, right? But uh, it's a poor keyword phrase. And you see that the first one that actually is any good, I'm number 22 and I'm moving up. And again, you know, uh, it's just some link building, it's some adjusting of the content. And we're going to get into that. I'm actually going to, now that I'm laying out these two pages, I'm going to go and I'm going to show you what, when I Google this, right? <clears throat> I Google Daytona Beach gutter installation. I'm going to show you the companies that rank for it. And then I'm going to probably look at their link reports and I'll show you some, some stuff of how I would go about moving this site up into the first page of Google so that I can get a lot of, a lot of work, right? And again, on this search, you know, gutter cleaning. Let's do port orange. Right? <clears throat> there will be also, you know, there'll be ads. You can always buy ads, but like I said, you know, it's two to three bucks per click. You know, um, and so that's gotta be that's expensive. And so again, you know, showing up in the maps is gonna be another key thing. But that's gonna come down to uh, these companies might have an advantage on me because they have a uh, their home page is all about it. So I've really got to step it up and actually make this page that much better. When this page is is 
as good as any one of these sites here. You know, being, uh, you know, whatever their content is really on the first page. And most of them, I think, when you have like a five page website. In fact, let's just look at Rob here. Oh, he's, he's an aluminum guy, so I'm not even really worried about that. Uh, here's all gutters, all hands gutters, right? That's a pretty big company. <clears throat> let's just have a peek at their thing. And so, you know, I got to do something similar. Now, I'm not worried about pictures and stuff like that. Uh, that's all great. Uh, and here's clip art. I could probably get the same picture, right? Uh, and so, uh, yeah. Very nice. And so they did something similar. You know, to this. You know, I got about the same amount of words, right? I just got to expand this a little bit more. And I actually do have a set of videos here, so maybe I got to go and I actually expand the descriptions within these videos, right? Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to see what the description says, though. Bada bing. Okay, this one's definitely going to have all kinds of Denver. I did. I switched the handyman link. And I did. I did update it. All right. So I at least updated it, but this is not enough content. I'm actually going to add a bunch of content. And in that content, I'm going to put the keyboard phrases. You know, I have Daytona Beach, Florida in here, but I don't have Daytona Beach gutter cleaning and gutter repair. I need to put all those basic, you know, keyword phrases that I want this page to rank for in this description on YouTube, right? And then make sure that link is reinforced. And then maybe I want to, like, reinforce uh, the Pinterest. I want to put a couple of links into this thing, right? And then uh, that will all point to the website. And then from there, I'll... Uh, I'll probably go to Home Depot and I'll make another video or two about different types of sealants, right? In the, in the caulk aisle, there's different gutter sealants. And I'll do a video on that. Maybe I'll do something on flex seal and how to use that in gutters, right? That's that popular shit you see on the infomercial, right? I'll just start making video, 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 video. And just the ideas are endless, guys. I go to Home Depot, I can make five videos in like 25 minutes. And that will absolutely just set me on my career's path forever. <laughs> Honestly. It's worth gold. And so am I. Hire me. You should. Consider it. All right, so where are we going to go from here? All right, let's hop back here. <clears throat> so we said we're going to look, you know, at, at what the that page is currently ranking for. Now, that's all fine and dandy. There's one that's no good. Here's two that are, this one's no good either, right? Grove Park. I don't even know where that is. But this is the one that I want to reinforce. And so what I need to do is go over here. I got to search for every variation of Port Orange gutter. Maybe I do do Daytona gutter also. I think it's the other one I did Daytona gutter. So that's going to cover South Daytona, Daytona Beach. Will be all inside that prime keyword phrase, right? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so this prime keyword phrase has other keywords that get added to it. So like a competitor, seamless gutters, right? gutter supply. I probably don't have anything about gutter supply. I don't have anything about seamless gutters on that page. I probably didn't mention Daytona Beach Shores, which is along the ocean there. It's still inside my service area. And that's interesting. Pool, screen, cage, rain, gutter, end cap, deep. Uh, that's that'd be easy. I just write a quick little sentence on that page about that right there, and I got 28 more, right? And you see what I'm doing? You see all this volume? It's just sitting there. All right? This page already is, is what? On page two is what we said? It's on page two. So it just takes a little more work. And the more relevant that article, this article, the more relevant this article is uh, to all of these keyword phrases. If I put all these phrases in here somehow, some way, not phrases, but words. I put all these different words in here in different ways and shapes and you see there are 19 different variations under, under Daytona gutter and the same thing here I have <clears throat> under Port Orange gutter we're gonna have 10 different variations so really only 29 different variations of keyword phrases that I got to tie some way to add to the article so that's another thing I want to mention a lot of people build a web page or a website and they never think about the words they're gonna put on it they think about oh me and my greatness but I want you to know Nobody knows about you and your greatness until they actually have you in your house. And so that's not going to be a good way to go about it. You want to know what keyword phrases are driving 
the traffic and driving your business. And so by looking at this kind of data, it's easy enough. And I know it does look easy enough, doesn't it? But until somebody shows you this kind of shit, you really just don't know. So here's an article. I could write an article. I could actually write sub articles, right? And then link to my page. I could actually go to Small Jobs Now and write a thing about cost of gutter cleaning in Port Orange, Florida and link back to Thomas Bowman Handyman, right? And that'd just be a bada bing. Done. One little link. Same deal. And not that, you know, you know, I get it. You know, everybody's like, well, you can't link build. But I'm telling you, if you don't link build, you will not go anywhere on the web. And so, uh, yeah, that has to be done strategically and it has to be done in a way that lends value to the consumers. That's what Google says, you know. Just buying a billion links is bad. It's really bad. It doesn't serve anybody except for you. But I'm creating links and I'm creating content that serves the consumer. And that's the big difference here. Google is a content addict. They're like a drug addict. They need content, new content every day. They got computers right now scouring the web to find that content. And so by setting up a Google AdWords search console, I can, uh, you know, it'll come through the site, you know, every month and look at all the new content. And when I create new content and I update this page, I'm going to go to search console and I'm going to enter this page here, this URL into my search console and I'm going to ask it to go and re recrawl that page and while it's recrawling that page it's going to recrawl the whole site right and so there you have it there's my little video um, I think I hit everything I wanted to hit you know uh, definitely uh, it, it is within the realm of things to uh, to get this and somewhere I, saw, I remember seeing much better data here on that where I had a lot more searches <clears throat> All right, well, I think that's good for right now. Uh, I'll pop back here in a minute with some more thoughts. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually uh, so I again we're you know the data is inconclusive because Google doesn't have an API that allows anybody to actually look at Google's data. So a lot of people create tools that track different things on the web, and so. What we're going to have to do here, <clears throat> and you know, in, in the first video, I showed you Search Console, and so I forgot, uh, I've been using so much SpyFu and, and Uber Suggest that I forgot about Search Console, but it's the most important tool, you know, uh, and so here, you know, it's going to tell me that the, the keyword phrases that, is sh that I'm showing up for, all right, anywhere within the top 100 search results, right, so the top 10 pages, if I show up in the top 10 pages, it's going to show me where I fell amidst the World Wide Web, right? And it'll tell me the pages, etc., etc., countries that are pulling hits, etc., right? And so what I want to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click here to Impressions. And again, we were talking about Daytona Beach gutter cleaning. And so that keyword phrase by itself does not get a whole heck of a lot of volume. Like, nobody really types that in directly. So they're probably typing in things like gutter cleaners near me or gutter cleaning near me or... Uh, something in and around that idea, right? And so again, that that this is where it, it gets funny because you're gonna find that sometimes you know uh, this data, what's falling into the map section, is just falling into the map section. Uh, and so again, I'm not showing up there right now, but I'm gonna work on it because I'm not showing up here in the search results here either, right? But you can see that most people aren't. There's Yelp, BBB, Yellow Pages. Here's one actual gutter cleaning company. <coughs> And the same company here, Thumbtack, Home Advisor, Home Advisor, Angie's List, right? And so you can see that that almost uh, that there are no real companies. There's only one real company here on the first page of Google, and then these. And so if I were to look at the map, let's have a look here real quick. All right, and this is going to list all those that actually are in the game of gutter cleaning, right? And so when I go down here, I'm not even so sure I'm going to show up in this list. I haven't checked it in a while. But yeah, you can see that I am not showing up here, and I probably am on page two or something. I wish I would have moved that image. So again, I gotta come in here and I gotta play with this a little bit. I might have to go to uh, to this, you know, the Google Maps, the uh, Google Places, and I might have to go in there and, and check to make sure that I, in the services offered, 
that I put gutter cleaning. Uh, I may have missed that. And so that's what I want to point out, that I'm chasing all that volume that really nobody can verify, SpyFu, Uber suggests, but it's there, right? This is Search Console. This is Google. Google's saying it's there. It's there, right? And so all I have to do is, is get to where you know I can collect it, and that's going to probably be the maps. So I might have to go and do some more like bright local or something like that, some kind of a local thing, and maybe I'm going to try to to uh, make sure one of the keyword phrases isn't just that it's just not just around handyman that that is also has keyword phrases around gutter cleaning. Maybe I'm going to do some social stuff, uh, post some uh, some things like OnlyWire. OnlyWire is a distribution thing that uh, sends out to your own social networks, and then there's things like Social Adder, which sends out to everybody else's thing so you sign up for social adder and it, you know while uh, you can post your links there and people will share it within their networks to different people and so you can get traffic that way but really that's all about link building and the same idea I'd probably uh, go and create go to this uh, page here right and I probably haven't gone and shared these images to Pinterest so by putting a picture on this page I can share this picture over here to Pinterest right and then it's going to carry a link for this page and, and, and some basic information, right? And so I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to create a little gutter cleaning board specifically. Now, there already is a Pinterest board all about gutter cleaning, but it's probably more set up right now for Denver, and I never really converted it over 100% to this. And so, again, you can see that I do not have, I have a video on here, I got some pictures, and oh, I've got affiliate links here. <laughs> Put some affiliate links on here. I'm probably going to get rid of the affiliate links. Uh, but you know, again, you know, we, we saw in the data somewhere that there is a, a company called Leaf Filter that's actually um, a gutter capping company, and they have an affiliate program. So I might might go and actually join that affiliate program and put them here, so people can get quotes on gutter cleaning, <clears throat> gutter capping, and then whether or not I do the job or not, I'll at least get a click through, get something out of it, right? But really, on this page, I don't have the Pinterest board which is uh, something that I missed. So, so maybe I'll go and I'll, I'll create a whole new Pinterest board, embed that here with different gutter-related products, you know, things you can put in your gutters. So it'll be like gutter capping, little screen things you put it inside your, your downspouts. Maybe it's extension tubes. I, I don't know. I'll create a whole picture board so I have more content, right? And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to structure these keywords a little better. <clears throat> You know, I'm, I'm not so sure how many times on this page I actually put so Daytona Beach gutter cleaning all right that keyword phrase is not on the page at all right so that's probably why I'm not showing up for it very well right and again Daytona Beach gutter is not on there did get the word Daytona Peach, so I must not have gotten Daytona Beach gutter cleaning in here, so I'm going to go around and I'm going to have to fix that, right? So like I said, we're going to make a whole series of videos and we'll show you what I've done, and, and so this is a great little example of how to go about and target all of this, right? And again, uh, there's all kinds of things here. I could go through here and there's different things. You can see this is actual search volume, and again, this is search console, so this is real shit, right? It's just showing me where the money is. Now, again, if it doesn't have, like, Port Orange or Daytona Beach attached to it, it's probably just a, you know, I don't want to rank nationwide for a handyman company, right? Now, if I was a major gutter cleaning company, like I was selling gutter-related products, and it didn't matter where my demographic was, oh, man, this would be gold. So if you're that guy and you're just watching this video and you just your hands are like, <laughs> I want you to know you should call me. All right, we'll chit chat. All right, hey, come back here in the next video. We're going to lay out a little more about this conversation and just you know, it's all about taking over a market and how you would go about taking over that local niche. All right, hey, thanks for stopping by. Check out my uh, website and watch the rest of my videos. Uh, got stuff here on all kinds of things, hotel and resort, uh, SEO, and just basic videos so you can learn about heat maps and stuff. How do you track traffic and how do you uh, get more traffic, all right, and page speed, et cetera, et cetera. All right, hey, thanks for stopping by. BowmanWebServices.com.